ladies and gentlemen. Moving now to the 67 kilograms welterweight class. Out of the blue corner, we have a former Australian and Commonwealth champion. A man who has added the name of a very talented Shannon Taylor to his list of knockout opponents. Boasting a record of 31 fights, 21 wins, 18 by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Julian, the Fighting Furrier Holland! Welcome back to Festival Hall. Here's the Julian Holland gets a record in the red corner. In the center and ring. The Fighting Barrier, Julian Holland, with a sensational record. 28 wins, three losses, one draw. Former Commonwealth country, Welterweight, and Welterweight champion. Middleweight champion, champion, middleweight champion Jerry Ali. And as your ring announcer, Rocky Ali, welcome. This is Joy scheduled Ali. for so 10 rounds of boxing. Well. And this promises to be a cracker, Barry Michael. Of course, we don't know a lot about Joy Ali, but he does have his record as quoted to us. 21 wins, three losses, three draws, with 16 wins by the short route. That's so a lot of knockouts. That's a lot of knockouts, and uh, most of the game fighters, most of the fighters in the islands are usually big punches. Good bangers, yeah, and he's are got you a great ready for some He's got a great technique as well, the way Joy Ali. He uh, looks considerably taller than Julian. He looks in good condition, but I tell you, Julian Holland looks very, very determined to me. Bryce Bentwistle, your third man in centre ring, the referee. He's in all black. Julian Holland in all black as well. And Joy Ali in the orange trunks as they're called to centre ring. This scheduled for 10 three-minute rounds. Julian Holland, former top 10 in the WBC, as well as being the Commonwealth champion, of course, winning that Commonwealth title. That sensational stoppage of Shannon Taylor back in August of 2001. Welcome back to centre ring, Julian Holland. Seven months ago, you lost your Commonwealth title, but this guy has got a lot of class, a lot of talent, and at 30 years of age, 28 wins and one draw on his record from 32 fights. He has still got a lot of good fighting ahead of him and headed back up the rankings with a bullet in the shirt. Yeah, no, he, uh, he does. He looks in good condition, Julian. He's, 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 he wants to look, he needs to look good here against Joy Ali in his first fight. We first comeback fight in the his So expect some fireworks here. And Julian's a, a vicious body puncher and got a very, very, very potent right hand. Well, uh, interesting situation here, Barry. Both boys are ready to go. Bryce Burtwist is ready to go. But uh, we can't get a fight started without a ringside doctor. And Dr. Peter Lewis is, uh, we think he's in the building, but he's not he, ringside at the moment. So. He might have uh, gone out to relieve himself. <laughs> he <laughs> just, won't be far away. Just adding to the, uh, the tension for both fighters does look very toey, Julian Holland, as you would expect. Uh, coming off a loss. Hasn't fought for seven months, but he is a class act and he is ready to put his career back on the right path tonight here at Melbourne's Festival Hall, the famous House of Stoush, fighting here for the first time in more than two years. You have to go back to when Anthony Mundine defeated Heath Stepping back in October 2000, the last time a famous old venue in West Melbourne hosted a night of the fights. But we're they're back here tonight, and it's been a sensational card so far. Brad Hemming stopping Brando De Niro in the first fight. Chris Hamilton, unanimous points winner over Mike Cope in the second fight. And the previous belt, Pierre Caram, stepping back into the ring for the first time in 20 months. Outpointing Jeff Tupu, a very courageous Jeff Tupu. Now we're going to be underway. Julian Holland and Joy Ali at the welterweight limit. 10 three-minute rounds. Dr. Peter Lewis is ringside, and we can get underway. Okay, he's a southpaw, Joy Ali. He's in the southpaw stand in the opening seconds of our semi-main event, Julian Holland against Joy Ali. Quoted as winning four or five national titles in Fiji, Joy Ali, of course, uh, not questioning the quality of opponent, but um, certainly not as many fighters in Fiji, given their population compared to here in Australia. Uh, well, yes, that's part of the mystery with these uh, guys that come over, Barry. It's the uh, it's the fear of the unknown. Exactly, and as you said, they usually are good punches, and his record indicates that he can bang. 
He's a tall, rangy southpaw. And we're just catching Julian Holland a little off balance then. Lost his balance there, but there, Julian. He did. He did. And, uh, of course, as we said, Julian Holland back in the ring for the first time since losing his Commonwealth Welterweight title to James Hare in Huddersfield in England back in April. Stopped in the sixth round, but he has got plenty of talent. And he is ready to uh, resurrect his career starting here tonight against Joy Ali. Yeah. Fijian, who is uh, stripped in perfect physical condition. He does. He's, a, he's an impressive uh, physical specimen, Joy Ali. And, wow, he just landed a big left up cut on the and on. Uh, and just uh, Jules uh, falling over then. Just, um, I think, actually, uh, Joy Ali, the old trick in the book, stood on his toes. Julian Holland walking up there with lefts and rights. He's looking to land that right hand against his death poor opponent. And as I said, he's got a bomb in the right hand. But he doesn't need to rush, and he's, he needs to have a look at this opponent, I would think, because he looks dangerous and awkward. Good KO record, as Barry Michael just alluded to on the record of Julian Holland. 18 of his 28 victories have been by knockout. And he does possess a very, very powerful right hand, as Shannon Taylor found out last year. Going further back, Stevie Marks for the Australian World Away title a couple of years ago was also stopped. And uh, plenty of victories by the short route for Julian Holland. Fairly scrappy opening round. You're going to say an ugly opening round at this stage. You know, Julian's lost balance a couple of times. He hasn't. His timing been out. And uh, really, you know, not a lot landing either way. Julian Holland, of course, was based up on the Gold Coast for a number of years. Now based back here in Melbourne. Trains out of the Underworld gym under the legendary Ray Giles. And uh, lunch pulled with a good straight right. Julian should be looking to go under that long right with a right right to the body and then come over the top. Starting to open up a bit towards the end of the first round here, Julian Holland. Certainly a very awkward looking customer, uh, Joy Ali. Very, very wide stance as Very well, wide Barry. stance. I was going to mention that he's got his legs very wide. That's the end of the first round. Julian Holland looking a little frustrated with himself then actually at the end of that first round, well, Barry. To be honest with you, I feel a bit frustrated after the end of that first round. It was, it was pretty ugly, to be honest. Uh, they certainly didn't blend well in that opening round, and I think uh, I'll call that a draw. 10-10 round there, Barry Michael has on his card as uh, our Fijian visitor, Joy Ali, takes... Uh, some breath and some water. And Julian Holland, under the guidance of Ray Giles, of course, been a, a master trainer over a lot of years, Barry Michael. Yeah, no, he's, a, he's one of um, the best fitness men in the, in the fight game that uh, there's we've had in this country ever. I think he's a very, very, and he's, I mean, you have a look at Ray, he's a very hard man, very gentleman outside the ring, but a very, very good conditioner. Of course, been a uh, sensational fitness expert, not just for boxing, but had a lot of involvement with Collingwood Football Club too, and the yes. NFL over the years. Uh, widely respected around the nation for his uh, expertise in getting elite athletes to the peak of their physical condition. Round two of this 10-rounder, the welterweight limit. Julian Holland, the former Commonwealth champion, in his comeback fight against Joy Ali from Fiji. His record graded as 21 wins and three draws from 27 bouts with 16 knockouts and uh, he certainly wins his punches a little uh, Ali very uh, very roundhouse in his delivery he is his powers in his left hand being a southpaw and uh, so far it's, it is it's an awkward looking delivery Julian Holland stalking Ali around the ring at, uh, very wide stance as mentioned that first round by Ali I don't think I've ever seen a fighter stand with his legs so wide Both boys still sizing each other up. Both pouring out. Only half hard jabs. Ali keeping that left fist very close to his jaw. Wary of Holland's knockout power in the right hand. Holland uh, with his left arm around Ali's neck, banging away to the body. Bryce Burt whistles soon enough, breaks the boys. Julian certainly having trouble putting punches together against this guy. This awkward Fiji and Joy Ali starting to open up a little bit there. Very strong physically, Julian Ryan. The fighting farrier. 
Well, with a, uh, a little bit of a height advantage, not that uh, when they're tied up in the neutral corner, they can be fighting in a phone box at the moment. Yeah, no, he's got, I'd say he's got a big reach advantage, Ali. Probably not heaps taller, but he's, he seems to have very long arms. Holland misses over the top. And uh, even though he hasn't been out of the ring for as long as Pierre Caram, seven months is still, it's a, it's a fair break, isn't it? And coming off a loss, it'll take a little while for him to find his feet and get his confidence back. Exactly. Now, that's a good point. Um, you know, especially after a, a big fight, you know, losing his championship to John Harry, he'd certainly be uh, nervous and, you know, looking, looking, looking to look very good and quite often that can make you look bad because you just try too hard. And I'll tell you what, he's picked an awkward opponent for his comeback fight. Julian Holland brings tonight a record of 28 wins, three losses and one draw. And, uh, he landed a good right hand then, Julian. Yep. Joy Ali didn't seem too bad about though. He's a very emotionless fighter, isn't he? He His is. impression uh, has not changed one second in this uh, opening two rounds. But a good right hand by Julian Holland got his attention. A little Certainly. bit of trouble then. Yeah, landed some good shots there on Joy Ali. All good customer, the Fijian Holland balls in again. Bryce Burke whistle right on hand. And breaks them as the bell goes to end the second round. And a uh, sting right hand from Julian Holland late in that round. Probably the most impressive punch of the fight today. Yeah, no, I think you, you have to give that man a Julian. He's been cracking throughout. It was, it was still a bit sloppy, but it, it, he started to put them together better. And uh, started to get on target a little bit. And, uh, and, and actually looked as though he had uh, Joy Ali in a little bit of trouble at the end of the round. Tonight's promotion being brought to you by Big Time Promotion, the Bull Weedy. And the boys putting together a sensational card of boxing here at Melbourne Festival Hall. We're in the semi-main event, a 10-round welterweight bout between Julian Holland and Joy Ali from Fiji. And Julian Holland, after uh, what Barry Michael considered was probably a draw in the opening round, probably a 10-9 uh, round in the second round of Julian Holland, as uh, he receives final instructions before round three from Ray Giles. Yeah, speaking to Ray before the fight, uh, you know, asked him how Julian was looking, he said he was in great condition and, and told me that, uh, you know, the way they were going to fight this guy is, was basically what he's doing, get up close and stay there. And he, he, the first round he wasn't so successful, he was a lot more successful, especially towards the latter part of round two, and uh, he's looking, looking for an opening at, at the very minute. And once he starts unloading, I think he'll try and keep Ali against the ropes. As you mentioned earlier, Barry, an awkward-looking customer, Ali, and uh, I dare say that Julian wouldn't have got to see any tapes of, uh, of this guy prior to the fight, so really, you, you're just learning on the job, aren't you? Exactly, you're, you're fighting blind, and, you know, it can be a bit dangerous sometimes. It, it is always, I used to love to get tapes of my opponents, but if you can't get them, you can't get them. Bit of uh, power in that left hand from Holland. Julian hasn't hit him cleanly with his own right hand yet. As we know, the knockout power of Julian Holland has sent many a fighter to sleep with that clubbing right hand. And beautiful left foot to the body he's got to. He, uh, he had an opportunity to land it there and he didn't throw it, which sort of surprised me, but I think you'll see his body punches come to the fore as the fight progresses more. They call him the fighting farrier, Julian Holland. The power in that right hand sometimes... Uh, You'd have to wonder whether there is a horseshoe in his, in his right glove. For sure. Loaded up then, but uh, missed by a fair weight. Plenty of time, though. Only the third round of a scheduled ten-rounder. In three-minute rounds, it's a fairly long journey, and, you know, Julian needs the work. Probably the more rounds he gets, the better. But uh, I think when he gets on to this guy, we might see... See him in a bit of trouble, but uh, at the moment he's covering, covering well in the corner. I'll tell you, Julian should perhaps concentrate on that left, right drive to the body, left hook to the body. He's definitely very open to the left hook to the body, this guy, when he backs against the race. And Ali, certainly, he's had the, uh, the left hand cocked plenty of times, but he, he seems a little reluctant to throw it, hasn't he? He's, uh, if he hasn't got some power, he may as well, uh, he may as well let it go. Julian defending well there. 
looking for an opening. He does, he keeps his hands, his left hands glued to his chin. There you go. Good evasive skills there by the Fijian. But, uh, Holland still has him in the neutral corner There's and that. not letting him out. There's the body shot. Once again, this uh, stony expression by the Fijian. He certainly doesn't seem to be perturbed. And uh, three rounds down, seven to go. Yeah, another Julian Holland round, but uh, again, pretty uneventful round. Uh, both fighters you know, having, having trouble landing cleanly. So you would, uh, would have given that one to Julian just? Yeah, I would have given it to Julian. I think he won it fairly well because, you know, he, he carried the fight. The, uh, better work rate. Better work rate, better combination. You know, I don't really think Rowley hit him that round. He did anything substantial. Joy Ali, our visitor from Fiji, taking part in the semi-main event, fighting Julian Holland over 10 three-minute rounds at the welterweight limit. And at yesterday's weigh-in, Julian Holland came in right on that limit, 67.45 kilos, just under the 67.5 kilo weight limit. Joy Ali came in at 67.15 kilos. Julian Holland tonight brings to the ring a record of 28 wins, three losses and a draw. And he's 32 bouts, a sensational record. And looking to improve on that as the fourth round gets underway. Bryce Burt Whistle, the third man in centre ring here at Melbourne's Festival Hall. A little more action by Ali to start the fourth. Yep, Ali um, has been pretty ineffectual in the first uh, three rounds. Julian Holland looking to uh, lift the pace a little, up on his toes, bobbing and weaving. I think he's probably just, just you know, getting into his, uh, into his rhythm now, although his timing's still not right. He missed with a wild left hook there. When's the big right hand going to come? And the left hook to the body. I haven't seen any uh, good body punches yet. Julian Holland electing to wear the... Uh, the all black, black trunks, short black boots, made famous, of course, by Iron Mike Tyson. Joy Ali, very colourful in the orange trunk with the black and white trim. Julian brushing his, Joy Ali's gloves away, looking to, to get through with his own shots. Holland clearly with the greater work rate. Ali just doesn't seem to be throwing enough punches just with the uh, bad intentions they're only half-hearted pouring out a jab a couple of times having yeah. to tie up he doesn't look, he doesn't look too keen to me at the moment do i Ali? there's that uh, clubbing left to the body barry michael just uh, told you about while they're in close but, uh, ali continues with this uh, very emotionless expression it's a uh, He's an interesting fighter to watch. He, is, he, he just threw a left hand there and it um, didn't land cleanly, but it, it did put Julian off balance. I, I, I think, I really think he's got some power in that left hand. He's starting, starting to starting to put together a little bit here. The Australian certainly uh, taking the fight to the Fijian and building up the points as he does. Just a pouring jab there by Ali. Right up again, Bryce Burt Whistle once again will uh, we'll separate them. And actually, first warning, I think, probably there to Ali for uh, continual holding. Julian Holland tried the right side of the body. I'm surprised he hasn't done more of them against his outdoor opponent. But now he's, but now he's starting to get on top. Now he's getting on target. Fijian puts in Bishop there. Good straight right to the body, started it, and a few clubbing right hands to the side of the head. And the right the right to the body again, it's a good shot, and it's hurting Fijian. Ali tries to fight back, certainly he hasn't thrown any combinations to of note, Ali, as it's just virtually one punch. Holland blades in again, and that's the end of the fourth round. Barry Michael, another round of Julian Holland, and uh, just at the end of that round, he's received a, uh, a cut over the right eye. I did notice there was blood earlier, and I wasn't sure where it was from or who it was from, but it appears that Julian has got a, a cut to his um, right eye. And it's, uh, it's above the eye. Major, I was working feverishly on it during the break between this fourth and fifth round. 
cut on the right eyebrow of Julian Holland sustained in that fourth round. He still has won the round, but uh, that's, a, that's a fair slice there, Barry Michael, looking on our monitor. It's a uh, bleach cut. Yeah, it's, it's right on the, on the corner, so it really shouldn't give him a lot of trouble. It's an old injury, and I don't think it's too bad at the moment, Bruce. It shouldn't give him a lot of trouble in that position. Could you pick up with a, with a punch or an accidental head clash? Uh... No, I didn't really, I couldn't say I saw any head clashes, but uh, then again, I haven't really seen Roy Ali land many clean shots, so I'm not sure where that one came from. And, you know, like, from my experience, I mean, I, as you know, Bruce, I used to bleed a, bleed a lot and had a lot of cuts, and I think 99% uh, of my cuts came from head butts or elbows. Um, very rare to be cut with a glove. Unless it's left old scar tissue, which Julian has got considerable scar tissue on the left eye, uh, the right eye, sorry, or both eyes, he's, he's had a few, few nasty cuts, Julian. We've started the fifth round of a scheduled 10 welterweight fight, international welterweight fight between Julian Holland in the Black Trunks from here in Melbourne, Australia, and Joy Ali, the Fijian, cop and some uh, heavy body blows there from Julian Holland. A couple of big body shots there from Julian Holland. Ali with a bit of a show of strength there tries to shrug Holland off and tied him up again. I think he's quite physically strong, the Fijian. Certainly not an inch of fat on him. And no. He's, uh, he's stripped in terrific physical condition. Holding that right hand out almost as a measure, trying to measure Julian Holland, but he does have to get more active, Barry Michael. Yeah. He's um, undoubtedly got power there, the Fijian, but he hasn't been able to deliver it in any shape or form at this stage of the fight. Well, that was meant to be. <laughs> he was thinking about it, then changed his mind. Julian Holland continuing with a, uh, an impressive work rate, trying to get in, and uh, unload his right hand, as well as uh, some, some body shots. Ali proving, proving fairly uh, awkward to hit, though. Yeah, he's, awkward target. He's, he's got a tight defence, and as I said, he's a physically strong specimen. He's not uh, he's not a weakling, for sure. In the neutral corner, some body shots there, uh, scoring again for Julian Holland. And a good jab followed up by a good straight right, another left hand, and good body shots as well. The best combination of the fight by Julian Holland. Starting to put him together far better in this round. Blood just starting to trickle out from that uh, cut above Julian Holland's right eye. Once again in control of this fifth round. I'd say that that uh, cut possibly came from from the, the uh, left hand foot, even as being from the, uh, in, the laces or, you know, the tape, raising it across the side of Julian's eye. Not a lot to Ali's arsenal at the moment. Hasn't really thrown many combinations. He's, uh, he's got an awkward defence. It's been hard to hit, but Holland has got through several good combinations to the body and to his head. Well, this has been his best round, Julian. He's, he seems to, as the, the fight's progressing, he seem, he's seeming to me to start to be landing more often. That was a good, good left by Ali good, there. Solid left from Joy Ali. Uh, glancing right as well. Uh, Tom, the end of the round, I feel Julian Holland won that, uh, won that round quite comfortably on your couch, Barry Michael. Yeah, yeah, I'd take another round of Julian, but uh, he did land a few solid shots to our lead. Uh, not to be taken lightly, and um, uh, he has got some power there, and we've got the worry, of course, of Julian Dye. We're halfway through the semi-main event, the main preliminary on tonight's card, brought to you by Big Time Promotion. And Julian Holland is doing battle with Joy Ali at the welterweight limit over 10 three-minute rounds. According to former IBF junior lightweight champion Barry Michael, Julian Holland in control on, uh, on his card. He's probably winning the second, third, fourth and fifth rounds after having an even first round. The main event coming up on the show, the IBF Pan Pacific title. The IBF Pan Pacific Light Welterweight title between Love More and Adu and Sackner and Twins. Love More and Adu weighing in at 63.05 kilos yesterday. Sackner in at 61.75. We're underway for round six of this fight between Julian Holland and Joy Ali. Ineffectual, uh, he's punching here at the moment, Ali, and didn't get close enough to Holland 
who just answered back with a uh, couple of crisp shot, crisp shots to his face. Doing a bit of show boating with her, Jan. You would wonder why, given the uh, the state of the fight, Barry. Exactly. Well, maybe he's trying to confuse his opponent, or what's this? Yeah. But, uh, Julian Holland trying to find his range, wanting him to get inside and unleash that vicious right that we know he possesses. See Jan doing some flash things with his hand, not landing. Oh, Julian Julian Holland losing his balance again. Yeah, he's he's balance. On the his balance, his, his boots uh, have been slipping quite a bit tonight. And again. And again. Four times. A couple of times in the first round, a couple of times in this, the sixth. Although he tries to drive the straight up the middle through Julian's gloves, but to no effect. Wild right, missed there by Holland. stances I've seen a, a fighter have in Joy Arlen. Very well. Good right the body. Holds back Ali into uh, his own corner. He didn't like them body guts. Bryce Burt whistle breaks the two boys again. Tells Julian not to uh, pull Ali's head down. And Ali continues to uh, well, you'd have to say he's fighting a composed fight, but he's not fighting a very effectual fight as far as scoring punches. He's very composed. He's fighting in first gear. There's a good crowd here at Melbourne's Festival Hall. Probably like to see a little more uh, action from the Fijian fighter. Julian uh, Holland, I think, hurt him there with a couple of rights he got through and another good left to the body. Ali, he swings through his knees, but he does decide to unload, doesn't he? He does. He's a, he's a swinger. He's one of those dirt oh, good left hand from Boy Ali. Nice left to straight left hand Julian, to Julian on his face. He does. He throws him from all over the place. Slashing hook to the body there. Those uh, left body shots, I think, starting to take their toll on Joy Ali. He's in got him in Ali's corner. He's and he, he's going to go down here. Boris Portless has jumped in to put on a standing eight count. Didn't let him go to the canvas. I think that's more from the body shots and the head shots, Barry. Yeah, undoubtedly. I, I don't think... I think we'll see him go before too long. I don't think he'll not, stand. Not really too interested. And saved by the bat. The next round, I think. So clearly a 10-8 round there to Julian Holland with a standing eight count applied by referee Bryce Burt Whistle on Joy Ali in his own corner late in the round. A flurry of body shots by Julian Holland and uh, that would clearly lead to a 10-8 round. Yeah, Julian. And I, I think uh, you know the Fijian is going to find it hard to stay the distance from here. We're coming up to the seventh round and I think Julian's just sort of starting to hit his traps. And he knows he can hurt the guy now and I, I wouldn't be surprised if the seventh is our last. Anika Williams, Joe Mann and Con Theodoro are the, uh, the judges scoring this fight. I agree with Barry Michael, they might be required after this round. Joy Ali in a lot of trouble at the end of the sixth. He's still got four rounds to uh, negotiate to get to the end of this fight. And Julian Holland, you would sense, can, uh, can smell blood. In the Fijian's corner too, he, he's quit. He's, he's quit. quit. He's quit he's in his quit. corner. He's quit in his corner, so those body shots have... Uh, They've certainly taken their effect. Julian Holland certainly wanted to uh, get a couple of more rounds under his belt. He's uh, he's not that impressed with his opponent doing that. But that will go down as a stoppage after six rounds. And Julian Holland is back in business in a big way with a six-round stoppage to join our lead in Melbourne's Festival Hall to lift the his record. The has decided along with their corner the fighter will not go on. Crowd aren't happy Julian about that. Concedes your winner, Julian, the As your ring announcer, Rodney O, tells you, the fighting barrier, Julian Holland, back in business with a six round stoppage of Joy Ali. And that is Julian's record of 29 wins, 19 now within the distance, or inside the distance, three losses and one draw. And Joy Ali, there, Barry Michael. Still in his corner, and he might have more than just bruised ribs. Yeah, no, he was definitely hurt, but uh, I was surprised to see him, see him quit when he did. But uh, he's obviously in pain. He's not uh, venturing to leave the ring at this stage. Just uh, crouching there, but uh, I think the crowd... How about a round of applause for both fighters in the way? They had a mutual respect.
for one another. And we'll go back to ring announcer Rodney O. And I'm sure he'll uh, be catching up with what will be a very happy Julian Holland very shortly. Ray Giles, of course, very pleased as well with the uh, with the showing of his charge. Bryce Burt whistle takes. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, the Farrier, Mr. Hollins. Give him a round of applause, gang. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce him to the ring, if you will. Big Time Promotions will now have an auction. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First up, the big fella has a few words to say. Thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, a little bit of a disappointing uh, end to that fight. Uh, he's a very awkward uh, customer. Uh, very good boxer, but um, you know, I was just working into it. Trying to, trying to, you know, it's my first fight for eight, eight months, so uh, it's great to be back and I wanted the round. And it's great to be back in Melbourne in front of everyone. Yeah. Uh, secondly, I'd like to thank Tom Promotions for coming to Melbourne and putting this item back in us boys down here. Thank you, good. Also, the CFMU Martin King, all the boys. Future Spas, Masashi, uh, a, 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 a company called Fast Form Structural Systems who's looked after me this year, and uh, everyone, everyone else. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming and supporting. Give him another round of applause. A champion down here, the Ferrier.